All right, so generator functions. What are generators? Basically, a generator is a function which produces a sequence of results instead of a single one. So we know that a function simply returns a result with the return keyword, whereas a generator can return multiple um, results at different times. And we will see how that works. So basically, a generator produces an iterator. Okay, so the iterator goes through the elements that the generator produces. We use yield, so the keyword yield, instead of return, right? So when we want to produce a value with the generator, we provide that value with the yield keyword. Um, when the yield is reached, a value is produced and the execution of the generator function is paused until the next value is required, right? So we have a way to tell the generator that we needed to produce another value. And um, while it is waiting for that signal, the generator function is paused and um, no other value is produced. When the function terminates, the iterator terminates as well, right? So as long as the function is running, the um, elements are produced and the iterator continues to work. When the function finishes, the iterator finishes as well. So let's see in practice how that works. So we have a uh, simple function, right? A test generator. And we want to produce 10 squares of the numbers from 0 to 9, right? So we are, um, for each number in this range, we are yielding the value i times i, so i squared. And if we want to consume this data, we are simply saying for square in test generator, we are printing that information. All right, so let's try it out in our code. So I'm going to say def test generator. All right, this is a simple function, but the only difference is that we use yield instead of return. So we have for i in range of 10 that will yield i multiplied by i, so i squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that as an iterator. So I'm going to say for square in test generator. I'm going to print f string square is this number dot, um, oh no, it's an f string, so we can put the square straight in the string. All right, there we go. So we have our program. Let's go ahead and run it. And we get 0, 1, 4, 9, and so on. So squares from numbers 0 until 9. All right, so we can see how the function can yield multiple values, can provide us with, with multiple values. But we don't need to automate that. We can um, call the yield keyword multiple times, right? So for example, here we have generate cities and we are yielding different city names, right? London, Paris, New York, Moscow, and so on. And to use them, we have the same kind of function, right? So we are printing, we are using it in a for loop to print out some string. So let's try that out. I'm going to define uh, gen cities. Okay, and here I have multiple yield, yields. So I have London, then I have yield Paris, yield New York, yield Beijing, and so on. All right, so let's leave it at four. And then I'm going to loop through these elements, city in gen cities. And I'm going to print an F string. The city is awesome. Okay, so this is an f string, so I can put the variable here. So um, let's go ahead and run it. And we get our output um, with the cities that are generated by our function. All right, now a return statement will terminate the generator. So if we place a return statement at any point, the generator will terminate even though it might have more yield statements later on. So I'm going to put my uh, return in the middle here somewhere. And that means only two values are produced and then the function finishes. I'm just going to comment that out for now.
Now, if we want to produce or yield all the values of a certain iterator, so for example, from a list, then we have yield from, okay? So here we are providing a list of some uh, cities and we are yielding from that list that will simply go one by one and produce um, data from that list. So let's try that out after our last yield. So I'm going to say yield from, and here is a um, list, Moscow, uh, Jakarta, and um, let's say Madrid. All right, so let's go ahead and run that. And you can see that these values are yielded independently, right? So each one goes into um, our for loop one by one. They aren't yielded as a list, but as separate strings, separate elements. Right, um, now the next keyword, next function, will start and retrieve the next element, right? So we don't necessarily need to put our generator in a for loop, we can actually go step by step through the generator with the next uh, function, right? So here is an example. This is the generator that we had previously. And if we want to just go through it step by step, then we can with the next keyword, right? So um, here we have our cities variable, and I'm going to give um, the generator into the um, cities variable. I'm going to put it in the variable. And then if I say print next of cities, okay, and I duplicate that three times, if I run that, I will get London, Paris, and New York. If I were to put the generator here, this refers to different instances of the function, right? So if I run that, we will get London three times because it was it is restarted every time. That's why we are storing it in a variable. So we are always accessing the same instance of that function. So let me undo that. And if we run it like that, we are passing next, next, next to the same instance of the function, not to separate ones. So that's why we can access individual elements like that. There we go. So that is the basics of um, generators, it is a function that can yield multiple values and not just one as we do with returns.